Hi, this is True Crime For You, and I'm back today with another story, and this one is about Jordan Rodriguez. I just kind of want to raise awareness about if you see something, say something. Larissa Rodriguez and her boyfriend, Christopher Rodriguez, are charged with murder in connection with the death of Larissa Rodriguez's son, Jordan. And you think I don't feel guilty for that? I think you think I don't? I do, okay? And you're making it worse. It was a gruesome case that caught national attention. A mother and her boyfriend sent to prison after her son was found buried in the backyard of their home. Larissa and Christopher Rodriguez never admitted in court they were involved in the little boy's death. But tonight, in newly released videos, we hear from the woman herself about what happened that deadly day. Channel 3's Ray Strickland joins us now with some disturbing details. Ray. Yeah, Danielle, Larissa Rodriguez never publicly admitted to killing or burying her son and at sentencing, no show of remorse in the courtroom. But in the interrogation room, a much different story. She was very emotional and forthcoming tonight. In her own words, she tells police what happened that fateful day her son Jordan died. You do have a right to remain silent. That's exactly what Larissa Rodriguez did. Stay silent. For months, we never heard from Rodriguez or her boyfriend, Christopher, about what happened to her son, Jordan, until now. I was sitting with Jordan. Mm -hmm. It was like Jordan gave me his last words. Rodriguez admits to detectives that she and her boyfriend buried her son in their backyard. It was Christopher's idea to, to, to bury your son in the backyard? It was my idea, and he just did it. Just because I didn't want Jordan to be far away from me, I just wanted him to be close. I was not ready to let Jordan go. She admits her boyfriend wrapped her son's body before digging a three to four feet hole and burying him. Her confession helped investigators find five-year-old Jordan's body where exactly she said it would be. He was found with fractured ribs and other injuries, but Rodriguez denied she ever abused her son. However, she says, Christopher did. Oh, yeah, I'll never touch did. my son. Oh, yeah. Did he actually physically abuse him? Did you see him? A few times that I've seen, yes. Rodriguez claims on September 21st, Jordan suddenly fell ill. The next day, she says, he died. Detectives confronted her on why she never took him to the hospital. I was scared. Of what? I was just gonna have all of them took him from me, but I still love them. He's my kid. Rodriguez and her boyfriend Christopher were sentenced about a week ago. Larissa, Larissa got 25 years and Christopher 28. Both took a plea deal and pled guilty to involuntary manslaughter. Jordan was found dead and buried December 19th in the backyard of her Detroit Shoreway home after Christopher Rodriguez's brother called police from Pakistan to report the death. His body showed multiple signs of abuse, including broken ribs. Court says prosecutors previously said that Jordan died from his mother's fail to seek medical treatment for him. Jordan was last seen alive in September and investigators believe he died sometime around September 22nd, prosecutors said. Social workers said in the court documents that her home, that her home was in deplorable and unsanitary conditions. Now confirms the human remains found on Cleveland's west side earlier this week are indeed that of five-year-old Jordan Rodriguez. His mother appeared in court this morning charged in his death. See New Yorker is live with the details from the Justice Center in Cleveland. See ya. Tiffany and Chris, the details are so disturbing. People finding out that that poor five-year-old boy was found in bags in that backyard. The medical examiner has not said, though, the cause of death. We are still waiting to find that out. Now, our cameras were in court today as his mother, Larissa Rodriguez, faced the judge and appeared to smirk and show no remorse. Before Larissa Rodriguez faced the judge Friday in court, she sat handcuffed on the bench and whispered with the man sitting next to her. The 34-year-old mother of 10 is charged with the murder of her 5-year-old son, Jordan Rodriguez. Investigators found human remains in Larissa's backyard on West 80th Street. The human remains found are consistent with that of a child. 
Court documents show that Larissa led police to Jordan's body in the backyard after initially lying to them about his whereabouts. Cleveland police were tipped off by a phone call from Pakistan Monday. It was the brother of Larissa's boyfriend, and he told them the child had been buried in the backyard for almost two months. Investigators believe the boy died September 22nd after Larissa found the boy unresponsive. Jordan was a special needs child who did not speak. The prosecutor said in court today that Larissa showed disregard for his life. State police and Mr. Rodriguez appeared to uh, seek medical treatment for her son who was already suffering from multiple physical infirmities. His condition worsened to the point that uh, even though it was readily apparent, he needed the medical attention immediately. Ms. Rodriguez failed to seek it. Died. The judge set bail at $1 million and Larissa remains behind bars. Again, we are still waiting to find out what the medical expert is going to say about the cause of death. When we get those details, we will bring them to you on air and online. Larissa's next court date is Friday, December 29th. Getting answers here at the Justice Center, see a New Yorker, Cleveland 19. It was also infested with rats and cockroaches and social workers found one child eating a cockroach-filled sandwich when they arrived at the house. Records say the four children who lived at the home have been taken into emergency custody by the county, which has opened 13 abuse or neglect investigations into Rodriguez since 1999. Both Larissa and Christopher Rodriguez and her boyfriend have pled not guilty to the murder charge. That boy was special needs, premature. He needed help. And all they did was fucking beat on that little boy. Her and her boyfriend. When I moved out of this house, they had my little nephew in a fucking corner with a sock in his mouth. And I said, what the fuck is this? Okay? I called on them. I've been calling on them. Larissa Rodriguez last week pled guilty to trafficking in food stamps, telecommunication fraud, grand theft, and money laundering. Rodriguez and his social worker, Nancy Caraballo, contracted to help the family through Catholic Charities admitted to a scheme in which a social worker paid Rodriguez about 50 cents on the, do on the dollar in cash for the use of Rodriguez's food stamp benefit card. Rodriguez used the money to pay for her cell phone bills, gasoline, and to visit her boyfriend while he was in jail in Medina County, prosecutors said. Caraballo was supposed to conduct monthly home visits to check on Rodriguez's children and living conditions and file a report each time. Investigators found that on at least 12 occasions, Caraballo simply showed up to Rodriguez's house to pick up the food stamp card, and but she false reports claiming that to have inspected the home. Rodriguez was sentenced to six, year, six years in prison in Caraballo 3. I just wanted to do this story today just to, for awareness for Jordan Rodriguez. If you see something, say something. We are losing too many children to child abuse, child neglect, and everything. If you like the story, please like, share, and subscribe and comment. Thank you. Have a good day.